joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. You turn with me in your Bibles to the first chap, uh, the first book of Peter, First Peter, chapter three, and we're going to read verse one and seven. However, in First Peter chapter two, verse eighteen. I'm going to start there. Because in verse uh, 1 of chapter 3, it says this. And I'll let you find the spot where you're going to be. Mine's just on the other side of the page. <coughs> First Peter chapter 3 and verse 1. It says, wives likewise. And if you see the word likewise, it must mean something else is there, right? I mean, likewise compared to who? So I asked myself, what was he talking about before if I'm supposed to be compared? So I went back to verse 18 of chapter 2, and let's, let's read that. Servants, verse 18, chapter 2, be submissive to your, everybody? Masters. With all? Mayor. Not only to the good and gentle, but also to the harsh. harsh. For this is commendable, if because of conscience toward God, one endures grief, suffering wrongfully. And remember that whole part about that. If you do something, if you're doing something right and you get in trouble for it, God's got a reward for you. And then, likewise, in verse 1 of chapter 3, wives, likewise, be submissive to your own husbands. Now, hopefully, most of us aren't getting harsh treatment, but that wouldn't be the first time that some wife has had to look at this and, and had to be harsh treatment. So we've got the recommendation over in verses 18 and 19 of chapter 2, no, verse 3, or chapter 3, verse 1, I'll just read it. Wives likewise, be submissive to your own husbands, that even if some do not obey the word, they, without a word, may be won by the conduct of their wives. And verse 7, Husbands, likewise, dwell with them, meaning the wives, with understanding, giving honor to the wife, as to the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers may not be hindered. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. Amen. 